Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to deploy the PHP application. Uh, it's uh, Laravel framework and we will deploy it today. And uh, first thing uh, we will find Laravel application GitHub from many GitHub. Let's see, is there any Laravel project? Um, uh, let's see, admin LD. We need to find a Laravel project in GitHub that we will deploy. And I will show you how we can deploy the Laravel application. Um, let's see this one. Uh, yeah, now this has the uh, all the thing. And there is a interface as well. And now let me uh, log into my server. And okay, now I'm gonna do. Uh, Let's see uh, what's my operating system. It's 22.04, and we're gonna deploy in that. First, we will come to OPT. Okay, I have our other sites as well, and let's ignore them. And uh, we will deploy here, or we can say we will do work in the www directory and let's come to here and we just need to install the git here um, we have already installed it you just need to install the git to clone the project and here uh, i need to sorry for the twice here first we will clone the project okay now we're gonna do, go to directory and we will see okay though package to destination we'll read it and we'll see uh, what are the things the project hold okay package to destination and there are some package dependencies here and it holds the npm and we will install it as well okay and okay let's deploy the application okay first thing is that uh, you need to install the composer i already installed it and uh, you can check out the install composer in ubuntu okay so we'll see any article you can find out here okay you just need to run this command and uh, cache it and verify the cache once you will uh, do this and uh, you just need to run after that or uh, install it as uh, for all the users and to system wide we just run the simple composer then it will work fine okay now uh, i need to install the composer for the php application okay now it requires it's saying i just uh, need greater than 7.1 or 8.2 and uh, also there is extension as well and php hyphen right now my default php version is 8.3 and but i have already php 8.2 and other as well so I'm gonna to use PHP 8.2 as you can see it's saying low APH okay we will use 8.1 and uh, I'm sure yeah so my PHP 8.1 is already installed and uh, then we need to find out various composer okay and let's scroll it down and where is no where is composer there is the composer now php is point one we'll copy that and install install it yeah now it will install the composer all the packages okay now it's fine and let's see is your environment file thing. okay there is the env we will just copy it to dot env and uh, we're gonna to see uh, here 
okay after that we will see what exactly the environment file hold but we will just uh, migrate the database uh, i wanted to let you know there is the database must necessary for the laravel project otherwise the site will not work you have to set up the uh, database okay i'm gonna to create our database here create database uh here the database i will create the database similar with the project name okay now i'm gonna edit it and i will in right here okay so uh database name the database name is right user is fine so i'm gonna to migrate the php project as well php 8.1 artisan my uh, it's saying access denied for the root okay so i need to create a user create a remote connection user in mysql and you can find the uh, multiple article here uh, here we will uh, copy from here okay first thing is that we will create user and for you that Okay, we're gonna to write here the password. Uh, uh, you can say uh, QWRT and then blah 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 and ZX B123. Okay, let's see. We're gonna to create that user for our project. The project is that I will create the user with the same name. Okay, now oh, sorry. MySQL, I'm gonna create it and uh, after that I'm gonna do, uh, grant the permission at the same database and my user is Laragix and I will give permission only to the Laragix database okay here is it and after that we will flush it okay now I will come to the next step here you can find just need to run the flash okay now come to exit and edit the environment file and here is laragig user is also laragig and I will copy the password from here and to just confirm okay now all done now I will run the migration command okay now migration is running now uh, next thing is this i need a domain okay i'm just uh, managing all of my dns here i'm gonna uh, gonna do uh, hold it just to log okay now i logged in into the cloud here i'm managing all of my domain here okay now let's come to the next part we need a domain or uh, here i where is my where are my domains my domains or my account home okay here i will use this one okay now i'm gonna do no no, no. okay let's create a subdomain here okay i'm gonna to create okay now i'm gonna do see what's the ip okay because I need to find out the IP so that we can find the public IP okay now Laura gigs that will be my domain for my Laravel project I'm gonna to create it okay this we will use for the project now let's come back to here okay now uh, or I'm gonna do uh, Lara gigs dot conf. I installed the nginx already. You can install it by running the apt install and nginx. It is command it will work for you. And um, you can do all the configuration into the for the directory here. And I'm gonna do create Lara gigs dot okay so laravel config for uh, okay nginx comp for laravel application 
Uh, we will find out here. Okay. Let's see if we we'll find out here any Nginx country. Okay, here we find the Nginx config for our level site. Okay, make sure uh, we are using PHP 8.1, so we will change here 8.1. And uh, second thing is that you need to install the PHP FPM. Make sure you already have that. And I'm going to replace the domain here that I created and uh, okay now my domain is laravel gig dot dot zonh dot com in front of root you just need to place the project directory make sure you are using the public uh, right after the root of your project and that's all oh, okay now i already installed the uh and the project if it's let's uh, let me first reload the nginx okay now we're gonna to check laravel gig oh no uh laravel gig dot zonh.com i'm sure that's it. okay right now we are uh, facing issue of the http okay there is already a uh, permission issue here and uh, we're gonna to give the uh, well, i will show you how you can find and fix that issue okay here is the uh, permission that you can execute here and it, it will work fine for you uh laravel gig to not be open in append mode failed to open stream okay let's see that thing will work for us okay let's close it mistakenly clicked add that and now let's come back again we're gonna execute that and we will see again it's resolved okay now it resolved our issue of the log directory now we need to generate it uh, there is already command and uh, you just need to copy it and place it and here php 8.1 we are already using and after executing we can see okay now the site is live but uh, site is not secure and to do the SSL, I already installed the Python 3 cert boot hyphen nginx. As I'm using the nginx, you need to install that package to uh, create the free SSL uh, from the let's encrypt. And I already installed it, just execute the let cert boot command. Okay, now our domain is at 13 number. Let's choose it, and we want to attempt sorry sorry no it's not as speed our domain is very 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 here is at the line number seven we're gonna to choose it and after that okay now ssl been deployed and uh if i open the configuration uh gig okay, you can see that it automatically added the uh, certificate here okay i'm gonna to reload the nginx to confirm okay. okay now i reloaded the configuration now okay now finally uh, we have installed and uh, it's working fine for us okay and uh, in that way you can deploy the laravel application that's the whole process and how you can find out uh, if you need, if you are using as uh, I am using PHP uh, 8.3, PHP 8.1, and multiple versions of that, you just need to do that. How you can install the composer with a specific version? You just need to find out 
uh, where is composer it will show you the path of the composer and uh, uh, whatever php version you are using just choose it and uh, select the uh, path of the composer with the composer and just uh, run it install it will install that that's that, that's the most issue uh, we find out and i also wanted to let you know my company side is that uh zone edge and uh, we are providing DevSecOps and uh, development and cybersecurity solutions. And uh, must subscribe, like, share our video if you like that. Okay, thank you so much.